Baba Talent Workshop, FTD, WU, a subsidiary of Premium Academy. Comes up with the 2024-2025 academic session of various categories of filmmaking and purpose discovery courses. The FTW over the years has been a formidable platform built by God for the advancement of his cause here on earth. This year's edition will be offering basic, advanced, and professional diploma programs in faith-based filmmaking. Come and have a date with your maker as participants do at the powerful encounter clinics and prayer quakes. The workshop is also open to children of ages 10 and above. Hurry now and enroll for the first semester of this session. Hold it between April 6 and 14, 2024. Cost fee at the entry level, which is for basic certificate, is 30,000 naira only. Children's cost fee is 15,000 naira only. This covers for tuition, accommodation, and the cost pack. Food is available for sale on campus at affordable price. Then you is LaSalle College, Haribabola, Ondo City, Ondo State, Nigeria. Yeah. Students can come with laptops, cameras, and other filmmaking gadgets if available for group projects. For more inquiry, call 070644-0150 and 0816847-6985. They have to W. We are not a mistake in this cosmos. New information. We thank God for the journey so far as we have been blessed by the movie The Keeper. I am humbled at the testimonies that I continue to receive from my wonderful families all over the world by reason of what God is doing in their life through these movies. Listen to the following. We've had a lot of messages and comments and people saying that they do not know where we have our videos. I don't know how difficult that is though. But it's very simple. All you need to do to participate in the VG online is to come to this channel every Friday night, 12 a.m. Nigerian time. You will now have to calculate with the way it is in your respective countries. 12 a.m. Nigerian time, that is Friday through Saturday. Once you come here at 12 a.m., you will see a live video rolling on our channel. Click on the particular VG you want to follow, which is the current VG, and follow the VGs. If you have not attended any of the VGs we have every Friday, then you are missing a lot. You can't pray alone. Let's come together and engage the corporate anointing. Thank you very much. At the same time, we also have people who have been interested in the worship section, the different, beautiful, intentional worship section before each part of the movie. And we are promising that after we get to the 15th mountain, that is the part 15 of this movie, we are going to collate all the worship section together in a video and put it on YouTube. Especially for those who want to use it to pray, those who need it to, to as, as ring it on their phone, those who need it to speak in tongues or what have you, is going to be on this channel when we are through with the release of the movie The Keeper. If you have more questions, counseling, prayers, you need to communicate the Gmail shown on the screen. And you must also be patient to receive response because there are backlogs of mails and we receive mails day in and day out. So you have to be patient with us to attend to you. But please do not send the mail to us if you are not watching the movie and participating in the video. If you say you need prayers, the prayers we can offer is what we offer at the video. Thank you very much. Are you here to support this ministry? This ministry you have made, you see it as you watch this movie over and over again. You can visit the need section. It will show, as I'm speaking now, the ministry boards, you know, computer, computer editing systems, camera equipment, monthly patrons for shooting of movies. God can be sending you to sponsor our movie productions. We shoot several movies every month. God can be laying it in your mind to just ask us for the budget and help us in shooting the movies. At the same time, your own can be that way. You want to support our building project. This ministry have building project on ground that you may also want to support. You may also want to support us from time to time as a monthly patron. Please use the account details on your screen and check any of the needs that God is leading you to help. Don't forget, to him that water shall be watered also himself. Thank you very much.
Are you really sure you want to meet your parents? Why not? See, look, I am ready to meet your parents. At least I want to see the woman that begat this beauty before me. I will stand on my watch and set myself on the tower and watch to see what you say to me. Hmm. That's from the Bible. Exactly. From the book of Abacus chapter 2 verse 1. Have you forgotten every man you bring to this house to marry? You end up killing them. Mom, I'm not a murderer. I'm not the one killing them. Mm. You're not a murderer. You're not the one killing them. Have you forgotten the number of innocent souls of young men you have wasted? You see, my brother, you will have a lot of revelation and spiritual insight when you study the Bible. But it is in prayers that we become the things that we study. Mm. It is in prayer that our countenance and version changes. No! I reject it! Isaiah chapter 54 verse 5 says, For my maker is my husband. The only one of Israel is my redeemer. I am redeemed. Shut up! Shut your mouth! You betrayer! Now I command you spirits mm -hmm. of Mary. Yes. You marry spirit. Yes. Now I command you to get out of this place. Get out of us! No! No! Where do you want me to go? To the swine or to the sea or wherever. In the name of Jesus. ancestral wickedness and time of altars, the destiny of great families rests on the shoulders of Christ's redemptive power through a young priest. His name, Brajan.
think I can cope any longer. I have had this issue up here. I don't think I can cope any longer. What name is Ashtoret? What name is Ashtoret? I hope this guy will not call this spirit and one day, one day they will attack me. Keep quiet! Keep quiet! Orange, you know, for the combination, and you should know colors. I mean, the yeah, green. So I'm the one I speak here, right? Yes, we, we, this, this is my filler now. You know, it's gonna be. I'm sorry for the delay, Peter. Oh, okay. Don't worry, food will soon be ready. <laughs> you see the soup I'm cooking? It's a seven light vegetable soup. Uh, uh, I go to ring Henry. Wow, wow! I really can't wait, man. But why didn't you get Sister Rola to assist you in the kitchen? So you know that when I offered to her sister, she said I should come back. When it is Rura's time, both of you will go and enjoy it in your house. And that is when you guys are married. Mm -hmm. You know, but right now, let me enjoy my time. Eh? Mom, I, I really can't thank you for everything you're doing. You see, I'm really happy about the way you received me. You are a very good mother. But now I can say with all confidence where Sister Rula got all of her virtues from. Thank God. In fact, we give all the glory to God. Especially the fact that my daughter will be getting married. Not just to anybody, but to a child of God, a firebrand son of God. I'm so happy. And another thing I'm so happy about is the deliverance aspect. I mean, whose mother would not want a daughter to get married? At some point, I love the idea of the relationship with the spirits. I was carried away by the love and the affection he showed me. You see, Rola, that's the work of the devil. That is the work of the devil. You see, the devil will do anything at any time to keep people in bondage. But shall we thank God for Jesus? Hmm. I wonder what they won't be doing without Jesus. Oh, horrible. Filthy and very depressing. No, something is wrong. Ah, my soup! Yay! I hope it's still be sweet like the others. Uh, it's now difficult for me to be asking for more soup. Even if it's just, there is no more time. I'll be getting my soon and I'll be packing out of that house. And I can't move in with my team to the new place. So it's better you consult his family to come take care of him. See, I'm happy for you concerning the news of um, you getting married. And I pray the Lord will take absolute control in Jesus' name. You see, as past come, I just want you to be patient. See, you know, the spirit embarrassed me the last time I came. And I promised it to come back stronger. So that has been my delay. Please be fast. And you are still mentioning another name. Okay. Ash to Yes, Ash to it. You may need to know. Ash to it. I pray the Lord will help us. Amen. See, I'm also praying and I will not stop praying. What I will just do is to just to try to convince my brother into this matter. And I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus. Amen. Please be fast. I wouldn't want a situation that will lead him to the street. Right. Thank, right. Thank, Thank, Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Philip, how do you left your friends to part of my job? I didn't leave them. I still check up on them from time to time. Well, you know, with the kind of family and background I came from, I must not choke with my spiritual life. Mm. Agreed. But, Philip, what do you stand to gain? Mm. What do you stand to gain? It's like we are focused more on your relationship with Bro John. Philip, what do you stand to gain? Just like the same question Peter asked Jesus in Matthew 20. You see, you do not follow a man of God, or any spiritual authority for physical gains. 
but for the spiritual benefits. You see, if you can just ask me what I have gained. Okay. What have you gained? Hmm. I had more spiritual insights to the issues of my family. I got delivered. My dad got saved. I had encountered a lot of revelations through the teaching of this man. Hi. A lot. Hmm. That's true. That's true. Kai! Hmm. That man is deep. As in, he's fully loaded. You see, you can literally sit at his feet all day without getting tired. I like seeing his speak. Do you now see why I follow him? You see, any youth or young teenager that does not have a living or a spiritual mentor is at risk. So you do not follow any spiritual authority or man of God for the physical benefits, but for the spiritual benefits. Philip, please, where exactly in Matthew did Peter ask Jesus that question? I need to go and study Jesus' response. That should be in Matthew. Matthew 20, verse 27. You can read downward. Thank you very much, Philip. <laughs> You're already dissembling, bro, John. See the way you speak like him. You see, the company you keep determines what accompanies you. Mm. I need to run. Thank you very much, Philip. Thank you. Bro, John. I really need your help. I need you to assist me with this issue of um, scam. It is getting out of end. The guy with the prison of tiles. <laughs> yes, no. He's still in that place. Yes. Ah. I push you over. Wait up. <laughs> Bro, John, I know it is well. Wait, is there something you are not telling me? Because I realize that ever since I've been going and coming concerning this issue of scam, You've not been playing an active part in it. Why? Jude. No, that's not true. That's not true. I've always tried my best. I've given different advices and I've prayed along. Bro, John, see, I don't need you to pray along. I want you to pray with us. See, this guy needs serious attention and urgent deliverance. <sighs> they, they even told me that he has started mentioning another name. Ah, he has changed the ringing tone. <laughs> so what what name is he calling again? I know he was calling one that like the name is the scholar forgot. To, what is he calling now again? I am Grandis. Ah, you're back. How was the place? Oh Philip, I'm I'm back. See, I need you to talk to Bro John. I don't know. You don't want to participate in scams issue again. Why are you taking this thing serious? What is it to talk to him? Have I not tried my best? What name is that spirit hey. calling now, Jude? The name. Hey. I think they mentioned Ash, Ash Reddit, Ash Deret. I don't really, ah, my brain, my brain, ah, Ash Deret or something. I don't really remember. It must be calling Ash Torret. Ash Torret, you are correct. Ash Torret, you mentioned Ash Torret. Indeed, this life is a mystery. You see, I still don't know how the system and culture of a city can now graduate to be a spirit. I mean, it is weird. Bro, John. What's Ashtoret? Ashtoret is the female deity that has been worshipped in the city of Tyre. City of Tyre? Ah, what could that mean? All I can tell us now is to search the volume of the books, that's the Bible, and check Ezekiel chapter 27. We should study that place well for perfect understanding. They will know this use of Ashtoret and Tyre.
Hello, ma. Yes, ma. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What can I do for you? Um, actually, I am Ituno, and here with me is Jude. Yes, we are looking for one at the side. He's our good friend. And actually, someone gave us a description to this place, but we're not sure if this is where he lives. Adisa? Yes. Which Adisa? Uh, Adisa, the son of Fuwurala. Mm. The one who has gone mad? Um, yes, ma. Yes, ma. What do you want? Um, thank you very much, ma. Thank you, Ma. Um, bless you. I, I am his friend, a very close friend of his. And um, I've been keeping him for some time now. It's over a year now that I've been keeping him. And as a matter of fact, he, he, they were two. They were two. They wanted to use me for rituals, but God saved me. God saved me. Huh. Thank God for your life. Thank you. But why are you a bony mad man? Let them go to the streets so that the whole world will see them. <sighs> but, 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 but ma, I think you must be very bitter at it. As the Lord leave it, hmm? he will never find rest. Uh -huh. And he will never recover from his madness. Hmm. That's too harsh. Don't be negative. I mean, don't, don't confess negative. Everything will be all right. Not again. Do you know how many steps I've taken on this issue? Money spent. I've never enjoyed my salary. So, are you now giving up on God? You can't. You can't understand, see? I know God stand up day in heaven, but then He's still God. He can decide to deliver, and also not to, so no one can question Him. Mm. Mrs. Florence, you see, one of the tactics of the devil in this end time is to make sure that believers are wasted and frustrated. Because he knows that when believers are frustrated, they begin to lose faith in the spiritual warfare. Thanks a lot for your words. I need to go. It is well with you. Mrs. Florence. She must have been experiencing this for a very long time. Oh. See, let me tell you something. That boy can never be free from that situation. Yes, he just needs to die that way. Ha. Huh. Hey, Grandma, please, ma. Please, forgive him. Hmm? Please, ma. Forgive? <laughs> you mean forgiveness? Yes. <laughs> let me tell you something that you don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Adisa Mom is my younger sister. Hmm. She gave birth to two children, a boy and a girl. Adisa being the first son, his father used the daughter for money ritual. Ah. Yes. He maltreated the wife until the wife had to run for her dear life, mm. along with Adisa, mm. only for Adisa to grow wings and join bad gangs. Mm. He used his mother for money ritual. Jesus! Which is my only sister. Jesus! <laughs> ah. <laughs> this is serious. This is ah. serious now. What level of wickedness? Kai, he has mm. done something very bad. Simi. Simi left alone in this world 
without a sister to talk to. <laughs> Imagine. How can a son be so heartless to use his own mother mm. for money with sure? Ma, I must say that I'm not really surprised that all the things you've been saying for some time now. And um, truth be told, I am so much aware about most of the things you have been revealing to us. Yeah. It's a serious case. Yeah. Um, please, where is his father now? Um, I was told they saw him on the street of Nasarawa as a madman. Yes. Can you now see that madness is running through their pain? So release him to the streets. He doesn't want to be cared for. Yes. Ah. Um, Ma, please, for the sake of Christ, can you just forgive me? <laughs> please, Ma. Forgive? Never. Never. I can never forgive him. I can never forgive Adisa. Forgive. Ha! Ah, that's so serious. Ha! Ah, but, uh, God can forgive me. Oh, John. But don't you think we need the forgiveness of his grandmother for deliverance to be successful? David didn't ask for forgiveness from the Raya's people. And the Lord forgive him. You see, he, he, he can be delivered, but definitely he is going to face some consequences. But well, that's wickedness. Mm. What he did was evil. evil. See, when I heard the old story, I lost total interest in the case. See, let him just go to the street like his father. Mm -hmm. Jude, <laughs> now you can now see what Jesus took. How he carried our guilt. That's why we are men. <laughs> Look at the way Jesus carried our guilt, overlooked them, and all that. And that's the reason why Jesus Christ came to even die. What was the way forward now? Deliverance. Real deliverance. We must understand that we are not confronting scam. But the Prince of Tyros, we must know what we are confronting. Ah, uh, we shortly introduce us to a mystery behind money. My keeper. Keeper of sacrifice. This is the altar of poverty in your hands. Yes, my keeper. I just concluded we are defying it so that we can evoke the spirit of poverty upon that family. I'm bringing it to you so that you can enact it into the family. Which family is that? The family of Anifogoshi. Little favor and help is coming their way. And we need to act fast. And he knocks this poverty upon them so that we can stop it. Go! Oh! Anyone who is battling with the altar of poverty cannot be favored. The ministry of Ebenezer cannot be established. Their doors are permanently closed. Nothing goes out. Nothing comes in. Exactly, my keeper. And it has to be severe. On today, we see the ministry of Prince of Tyre and Sidon.
Mrs. Akiwani, I would not have decided to speak to you at all. Because you barely join us in the office. But the love and concern you have shown me is irreplaceable. Mm. I give glory to God. I give glory to God Almighty. You see, we are God's representative here on earth. We represent his kingdom. And in this kingdom, we don't give up on ourselves. From the history of my family, sickness is our trademark. It is one sickness to order. And doctors don't really see anything. You mean every member of your family? We all have various health issues, different symptoms here and there. And that issue is that it doesn't make us to be effective and efficient. If not for God, I would have been sad due to my frequent on and off. So what have you been doing about it? Prayers, fasting, going to the mountain, engaging faith. But it goes for a while, but then it comes back. That now. As a child of God, when you have prayed, you have fasted, you've done every necessary thing concerning a problem, and it refuses to go. Or when it goes like that, it returns. Then it has something to do with the waters. And meanwhile, you need understanding to engage in such. I don't think I've ever asked something like this before. Yes, altars. Altars. The keepers of such altars don't sleep. They don't slumber. They reinforce and reinforce and reinforce the altar to ensure continuity. Just give time to prayers. And I think you'll understand better. I see a great grace of revelation in your life, colleagues. Bro John, we have author of poverty and prince of tyros. How are they related? Exactly. That's my top two. Is there an altar called the altar of poverty that is responsible for the experience of great lacks in the family? Capital yes. Yes, we you see. Poverty as an explanation, especially when diligence and hard work is engaged without result. The Bible says, See thou a man diligent in his business. The result should be that he stands before king and not me. Mm -hmm. But when you engage diligence and hard work without result, and then there's an explanation. The idea is that. Uh, this poverty will eventually now lead you to Babylon, and that is the system of Tyrus. Hey, but why do some men of God now preach against prosperity as Kana and always backing it up with the word that says the root of money is the root of all evil? Mm, well, why? You see, respectfully speaking, as good as that verse is, it's also with the interpretation has been misquoted. And that is why I'm going to sequentially explain that verse and the mystery to you. Mm -hmm. With the revelation I have before me, I believe you will understand it so, so well. But I can't wait. When are we discussing? Mm -hmm. Very soon. I can't wait. Please subscribe.
What's your problem? Don't you sleep? Don't you sleep? I have a water tray of my own. I have a perfect beauty. Hello, Brody. I have not been sleeping for days. Uh, what is the problem? Isn't it obvious? Can't you hear scam shouting every now and then? Um, see, I'm sorry, brother. Please, I'm very, very sorry. I take full responsibility. Please, can you just bear with me? I will be there first thing tomorrow morning. I am fed up. See. Alright, please, just ignore his sayings. Ignore everything he's saying and I will be there tomorrow morning. It's a promise. I promise you, please. How can an ugly looking beast say he's of perfect beauty? I'm very sorry. Thank you. Keep quiet! Jude, is that not the Nexa manager? Very John, you are weak. He is, oh. He is. He said scam is not allowing him to rest. Oh. Tomorrow we will visit their place together. We we'll go and do an intro game with that demon. Intro? <laughs> what is intro game? Um, bro John, I really appreciate. Thank you very much. That's very nice one. Thank you. Oh, me too. I love such game. Ah. <laughs> Why are you not sleeping? How did you hear my conversation with Jude? Ah, Brother John, why are you not sleeping? How did you hear the conversation between Scam and Jude? Ah. I was meditating and praying, so I was not so deep in sleep. I was communing and traveling in my spirit, so I was not deep in sleep. Philip. Rest, sleep. Don't forget that a good sleep is good for your health. Ah, brother John, sleep. Don't forget that a good sleep is good for your health. <laughs> Feeling. Hmm. Brother John, please, what is wrong with Sobi? We are in the middle of the night for crying out loud. Which one is all this comedy you are doing in the middle of the night? Why are you disturbing yourself around me? That is an insult to the royal place of Kairos. Good question. Very good question. I know nothing. And about what I want. I want you out of that way. Daughter, who do you think you are? What you know? You forgot brotherhood. You forgot the covenant of brotherhood that you betrayed Jerusalem. Haven't you stole me? You know nothing about Caesar! I know nothing, but I understand by the books. We don't just enter Demon Chapter 9 as 2. That was my study this morning. I don't get it. And what I understand by the books is large and big enough to take you out of that house.
What is it? I don't hear any scream or noise. Is it delivered yet? We will be back. Incomplete mission. So that means I will not be sleeping again tonight. The next time we'll be coming, there will be a final delivery. Ha! No sleep for me this night. <laughs> Where is he? Is he? Oh, Colin. Bro, John. Yeah. Thanks for not forgetting to invite me for this, bro, John. I really appreciate it. Ah, uh, that's, that's, that's great. I believe we have all studied the book of Ezekiel very well because we are going to be doing this together. You know, we want to be talking about a great city, the city of Tyre. Tyre is a city under Sidon. It is a great city. Materialism was the order of the day. Mm -hmm. The city had a lot of influence and wealth, and materialism was the order of the day. I think their wealth was so great that it was the commercial center of the ancient world. They could do anything just to acquire wealth. And as we talk about the city betraying Jerusalem and having no respect for brotherhood, I also realized that Jerusalem and Tyra, they have this level of friendship that made Iram the king give them timber, materials, and stuff like that to build Jerusalem. It gave Solomon, I remember. Exactly, bro, Jude. Sorry to cut you off. I think both of you were together before the kingdom divided. Maman minded Tyra did not remember the covenant of brotherhood. I have filled a market with the men of Jerusalem and Judah and sold them as slaves to distant countries. Mm. 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 Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm sincerely I'm happy that we guys have actually um, you know studied what I told us to do. You know, um, you know, Connors, that, that story was um, when the uh, king of Babylon, that's Nebuchadnezzar, went to destroy Jerusalem. Once, when that happened, the Tyrians were so happy that Jerusalem was finally out of the way. The same Jerusalem that is their very close friend. Mm -hmm. They were not happy that Jerusalem is out of the way. And it's not just Jerusalem alone. No. Mm -hmm. I think I also read about a lot of countries that give them materials um, that helped build Tyre to what it was. Yes. Fascist sent silver, iron, tin, and lead. And many are furnished Tyre markets with horses of celebrated breeds, even dead and sent ivory and ebony. Uh, also at the same time, Edom sent emeralds, you know, embroidered works, fine linen, and kora. At the same time, Judah and Israel supplied Tyre with uh, wheat, honey, and balm. Johan, the soap, what is it? I think Damascus came with the famous ebon wine and Arabia sent lamps and goods, the finest of all kinds of precious stones and gold. Yeah. Mm. And bro, John, please, where are we going with all this information? Mm -hmm. Because, and then, how did that city become a man? I want to know. Revelation. Okay. Ezekiel 28, verse 2. In that verse, Tyre was the fact to as a man, and any man is a spirit. It means Tyre also becomes a spirit that can live in man. See, it means that even where we live, the city we live is not just a city. It is a spiritual. There's a spiritual dimension of that city that answers to the city. So Tyre being a man in the Bible, verse two means that it also gives it the opportunity to be a spirit. So that's it, guys. That's it. You see, the major aim of the Prince of Tyros is to see that God's children does not prosper the kingdom. It is to make people partner with the experience of poverty until 
it brings them to the corridor of compromise. Mm. It is to make people go to any length for money. It is to have no respect for brotherhood. Just the way such people could willingly give their parents, their relatives, and even friends for money to us. What about God's children that are materialistic? And use what God has blessed them with to show off instead of investing in God's kingdom. Materialism is not the presence of materials. Hmm. Materials is good. Why won't we have materials? So materialism is not the presence of materials. It is the influence those materials has over you. You see, the system is one spirit you must overcome. Because it insists that children of God prospers only the Babylon way. Now I see. I see the spirit that has dominated most of our lives. I see lust for money, lust of the eyes, pride of life. I want it to make it by all means. It is now rampant. The prince of Tyros does not want the child of God to prosper along with Israel's soul. No. It is to prosper the Sidonite way. That is just what they do. And through that, you lose your soul. Poverty as an explanation of the spirit. So how then do we help scum? Simple. Declare his judgment. Remind him of his doom. Summarily, anyone you see whose heart is lifted up to wealth, to riches, is under the influence of Tyre and Sidon. When God blesses you, and your knee is still very close to the ground in brokenness and contractness. It means that you are under the influence of kingdom wealth. You see, there's no time. I would have told you about the presence of that same prince of Tyrus in the only mountains of God, and at the same time in the Garden of Eden. Uh, He's a negotiator. Bro John, this thing you have said in the is a revelation now. Hmm. I can tell you I'm so enlightened. Hmm. So, now I see the spirit that dwells in the children of disobedience. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, we will move in faith for the grace of God. Mm -hmm. But I must tell us, be prepared. Mm -hmm. The personality you want to go and face is so wise. In fact, the Bible recorded that it's wiser than Daniel. So advise us to go and study. The Bible says, study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needed not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We need to go and study so we may be put to shame. So that we can go in the wisdom of God to challenge tyrants and also pray. Mm -hmm. You know, we have us in Jesus. Amen. Amen. My dear. It just looks so cloudy to me. I don't think I've ever had to anything like that before. <sighs> she even told me we would talk more about it and possibly take necessary steps to avert the situation. Dear, want to say something? I have lost word. I'm even ashamed of myself. How can a man not be man enough to fulfill his responsibility as a man of the house? Uh -uh. You are the one clothing me. You are the one feeding me. Uh -uh. Florence and my life wasn't like this before. Uh -uh. In fact, you know how I use my wealth and my resources to take care of the people around me. Uh -uh. I'm fed up. I'm fed up. Dear. I told you to stop talking about the issues of your finances. At least, I've never complained to you. Eh, I was just talking about the issues of my health. Now, see where you took the whole matter. You don't need to complain. Florence, you don't need to complain. There is something he does to a man when he depends on his wife for survival. And that is never the plan of God for any man. And now you are saying I'm complaining. I know. And we are praying about it already. Please don't get worried. Everything will be alright. Amen. Amen. Dear, afflictions is not good though. Even your amen is not it at all. I want to ask if I can invite the woman in my office to come and pray with us. Hey, Flores, and how many people have you invited? 
or how many programs and VGs haven't we attended? Then now you are bringing a woman to house again? Don't talk, ah. don't talk like that. You should be the one encouraging me, you know. <laughs> God will encourage all of us all. In Jesus' name. Abi? Challenge you to live now in Jesus. Amen. No, I have been patient enough with you. What do you even know? Do you know the depth of my wisdom that surpasses the wisdom of Daniel himself? Because according to Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 7, it says, I will bring the strangers of body and they shall draw their sword against the beauty of thy wisdom. And in the next verse, it says, For they shall be brought down to the pit, oh, yes. and thou shalt die the death of them who are slain in the seas. So, after the order of the judgment, I decree and declare, I eject you, spirit of Tyros, in this body. You prince of Tyros in this body in the name of Jesus. You spirit of Tyros that dwell in the children of disobedience. I get you in Jesus. Amen. I will ruin this life. You must hang in the valley of Hagar, the valley of devils. The Bible says in Joel chapter 3, verse 7, saying, He will raise them out from the place where you have sold them and return your recompense to your own hand. Yes. And so a desire is released from your own in Jesus. Amen. Amen. And according to Amos, Amos 1 verse 10, Amen. and the Lord has sent a fire upon the walls of Tyrus. And so therefore, Santarabo Shadakabo Shadama, I release fire upon you in Jesus. Amen. 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 You slapped me and eat me, and I told you I will be back for you. No, 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 no. When if you start to eat him now, you are just eating your friend, okay? When you want to pray for a spirit, you don't slap or eat him. When you are eating him, you are going to be eating him physically. All you do is spiritual judgment upon every spirit. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I declare this, my friend, Adisa, you are free from mammon. You are free from the evil spirit and every spirit of the loss of money in Jesus' name! Amen. No! 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 I think he's come now. Let's just uh, God is at work in him. God is at work in him. So let's just leave him and go while God continues to work in him. Spirit. Yes. Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Lorenz 
and her family will never be free from sickness and affliction. Yes! It is in this book. Our great grandfather innocently took his first something to pray before our night up. And the prayer point goes thus. He said, I have suffered to train my son. Very soon, he's going to get married. His wife will not allow him to focus on me again. I have witnessed my friend who has suffered on children, but they never enjoy because their wife has restricted them from taking care of their parents. As for me, I want my son to listen to me and not his wife so that I can enjoy the fruit of my labor while I'm living. Mm. Mm. Isn't that good? Good! His son has never listened to his wife but him alone. And that extended to these current generations. But sickness and affliction will never leave their family. And if any man marries their daughter, the man will be poor and become useless. Why is the woman become the breadwinner? So be it. Let me call Brojo. He should be awake. He should still be. She still be awake. Brojo. Sit down. It's exciting. He came into my room and even spoke to me in his normal voice. He even asked for food and water. <laughs> and the Prince of Tyrus wants to eat food. <laughs> we thank God. The miracle shall be permanent in 
in Jesus' name. See you guys later. Eh? See you guys later. Hadisa. Thank God, nobody is meditating and traveling in the spirit tonight. Oh, good afternoon. Ah, good afternoon, sir. How are you doing today? I'm fine, sir. Uh, you're welcome to our house. My wife has really said a lot about you. Yes, what can I offer you? Drink, snacks, or pounded the jam. <laughs> but not today, definitely. Oh. Maybe some other time because something important has brought me here. And I would like us to talk about it before we, you know, go into other things. Um, you see, I took up the challenge to be praying for you and um, just because of the issues happening around you. You know, when there is consistency of evil pattern in a family, it is not coincidence. No, 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 no. Consistency of evil pattern can never be coincidence. There must be an explanation to that. And what could the problem be? Well, it's an ancient altar. Yes, ancient altar. Her grandfather built an altar. I mean, he raised an altar for his sons to be loyal to him and not to be loyal to their wives. I think you are saying the truth, ma'am. Because most of their sons and even my wife's siblings, even her parents really don't have wives in their house. The cordial relationship between my father and my grandpa was so much that sometimes it is my Grandpa that gave us money to get many things hmm. under the directions of my father, which makes my mom to leave him alone. How does it affect us now? Um, you see, the altar raised, you know, is the cause of this. Something is associated with that altar, and that is the reason for the affliction of sickness in the family. I mean, the family is afflicted with sickness. And anyone that gets married to their female children will need to depend on her for food and sustenance. I knew it! I knew there's a problem with your family when I married you. Ah, this is not how I used to be. I know who I was before I married you. Suddenly, everything just went. See, you should better go and get my glory. Or else, or else. <laughs> Calm down, sir. This is a spiritual battle and not physical. You see, for God to have shown us the revelation, it means deliverance has come. Deliverance come when revelation has come. Please, what are we going to do, ma? I believe the Holy Spirit will teach us on how to go about it. Hmm. My glory, suddenly everything just went. Ah. Talk to me. Lord of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Collins. I soak in the blood of Jesus. I soak in the blood of Jesus. Thank you very much, Bro John. Thank you very much. If you know the kind of joy I have, that scam is alright. I'm just happy. Ah, I rejoice with you, Bro Jude. Because I know that this same. You has been on your neck for a while now. Mm, yeah.
unable to the brother in charge of the you know the mental manager mm. <laughs> because um, that man has been through a lot because of your friend. Is it? Uh, yes, you see, right. it's a uh, well, we thank God, we thank God for his life. Um, and to also say congratulations for me, I think this is just the right time for his deliverance, and that's why it happened now because this is just the right time for his deliverance. I'm just a exactly. I saw something. I don't know what it means. I saw some people. They were there. And they were not there. They looked so different. They came from Underworld. Collins, see your words are not clear. Exactly, the OU is not clear. You saw something. so cloudy to me and I don't really know what it means it's strange truly but I don't think it's anything serious mm. Mm. it's just a dream where people are cooking don't worry your head about it mm? <laughs> no mom you see God will not reveal anything to his own children without a genuine reason I believe there is a reason for this dream. The dream is a reality. Mm. I'm just saying that you should not get yourself worked up over this dream. Mm? But to assure yourself, you can pray to God about it for better clarification. Zia, mm? will you calm down? So I will not be calm. Or do you tell me this is why you feel this permission from me about your family? I don't even understand what you are talking about. I only observe that it is a pattern and that everyone in our family battle with one sickness or the other. And it is women that feed and clothe their husband while the husband depends on their wives. Oh, and why don't you tell me that men are reduced to a dust in your family? Oh. When I promised marriage to you. Did you just say I was the will of God for your life and that God has led you to me to be my husband? And what does that mean to me, Florence? It means whatever challenges you meet in the will of God, it is plan of God to remove if can agree. Listen, I will not! Dear... I understand how you feel. Sincerely, I do. It is not my joy that I catered for the needs of the family all alone myself. 
If we can agree together as one, we can put our hand to these patterns at once. That is all. Please. I'm begging. Please. My sister. You just need to understand him and be patient with him. He's only angry at the whole situation. But is it my fault? Instead of getting angry at me, I believe we should be angry at the situation in particular. That's where we need to come in. We need to make him understand. And while we are doing that, patience is vital. Should we be expecting him in our house anytime soon? Oh, sure. I will definitely come by God's grace so we can pray together. You see, that altar exists is not a problem. But we need to take our names. We need to remove our names from those altars. Amen. God is helping us. In Jesus' name. Please subscribe. Mabel. Auntie. Mabel. Hey. You came eventually as promised. Auntie Gloria, I told you I would come. Here I am. Hey, in my house, live and direct. <laughs> oh, it's Collins now. He's praying. See, uh -huh. <laughs> see, you see, mm. that's one of the reasons why I came home. Mm. Mm. I'm still surprised mm. when you told me that he's not feeling fine. The Collins I know. <laughs> Sweetheart, the Collins you know. Wow. It's not that same calling, sir. Eh? Mm -hmm. What my God cannot do does not exist. I see you can say that again. Hey! Hey! That same calling uh -huh. that made me run away from your home so that I will not be killed. Hey! This is serious. We thank God. Ha. We and thank see, God. Hmm? But, Auntie, you really tried, though. Oh, my darling. Tried. He's my son. I am his mother. I can't run away from him. Mm. I had to fight through. And today, see the testimony. Hmm. Motherhood. Hmm. And see, I really can't wait to meet him. I know you will meet him. You will meet him, don't worry. So what wait, wait, wait. What would you eat? Let me give you something to eat. Anything goes. Anything goes. Meet Bill. You are in my house. You are fresh. La it's the goodness of God and peace of mind, my dear. No more beating, no more jumping mm. up and down. Well, I think you shouldn't have spilled the matter to them like that. You see, the secret was revealed to you for you to know how to pray for them and with them. Yeah, I, I thought since it was revealed to me that I should let them know so that they will put the source of their problem. But I think it's not everybody that will understand this man. This kind of mind cannot understand the things of the spirit. Instead of them to begin to fight the problem, will begin to fight themselves. Exactly the way it is, man. Just mm -hmm. like um, Philip has said. But I believe that God will help you. He's going to work through you and in you to help them in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, okay. And so, um, I think we need to come together. Let's come together and help them in prayer. So, because I'll be visiting them tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> God will help you and confirm His works through you with signs following in Jesus' name. Amen. No. But can't we go on this spiritual exercise together? Ah no, no ma. It is this one is meant for you. Yeah, this one is meant for you and God will see you through. God will deliver them through you. And then his signs and wonders shall take place through you in Jesus' name. But I know Philip is less busy, he will be able to go with you. Bro, John, have you forgotten? Forgotten what? That everywhere you go I follow. Don't worry, mommy, we'll be happy with it. Necessary prayers, ma. Eh, what's it, Abel? No problem. No God will help me. Amen. Help me. Don't, don't say amen to my prayers. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Let's say amen. God will deliver them in Jesus' name. Amen. You still say amen. Amen. Let them know. Mm, exactly. They cook food, but they don't sell it. They give it to men. But one truth is that anytime they give food, to men in the dream, there's always an exchange. See, 
It's just like Esau sold his birthright to Jacob. Thank you so much. My servant and my wife have started praying over it. But you know, we, we need your assistance. Oh, wow. <laughs> the Holy Spirit will help us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, shall we be on our feet? Huh? What are you doing? What is in your mouth? Jesus. <laughs> What's this? It's rice and beans. Rice and beans. Maybe. Are you eating your drink? But yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's almost every day. Those are not the right drops to use. Mm. But it doesn't mean that Maji and Viridin are not drugs. But the question is, are they the right drugs? Madonna. Madonna. 